Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today I want to go over a topic that I think is really important and will help you with your online business. So I created this channel because over the last couple years I've been helping my husband grow his online business, Color by Felix, and I've discovered some tips and tricks that I think could really help you if you are starting an online business for yourself. When you're starting an online business or your first business, it's always intimidating because there's so many things that you have to learn how to do. You have to teach yourself how to edit videos. You have to teach yourself design. You are not at the point where you can hire someone to do these tasks. So who do these fall on? You. So I think that one of these things is so important and that is design. To be able to make your profile and your brand look cohesive is so important and this tool that I'm going to share with you today is something that's free. There's a paid option if you would like to join but it's free so it's very very good and definitely something useful that I would recommend. The tool that I'm going to share with you is Canva. Canva has really helped me out when Felix and I were starting our business. It's the place where I go to design quotes for my own profile. It's the place where I go to design YouTube thumbnails, which is going to be a main focus of this video today. There's so many areas of uploading YouTube videos, it can actually be super overwhelming and it can stop you from sharing your content and getting it out to the world. We don't need another roadblock in the way of getting more content out. It's already difficult enough just to record the content, to have to edit and do your own designing. It can be very difficult. So Canva has really been helpful to me and so I want to kind of give you like a little step by step today about tools inside of Canva, how to use it, and just kind of how it will make your life easier as an online business owner. If you've been around lately and you have been able to see my last two videos, you will notice that they were both mainly about social media. So I'm focused a lot on social media and I have a lot of knowledge in those areas, but I also want to share with you guys online business tips because those two go hand in hand. So social media can be an online business and you need to know these other tools in order to take your business to the next level. So this is definitely something that could help you and so that's why I I thought it was so important to make a video about this and now we're gonna hop over onto my computer I'm gonna give you guys a little tutorial and show you how easy Canva is to use to design your own YouTube thumbnails okay guys we are here in Canva as you can see up here it says canva.com so what I love about Canva is that you can literally design anything you don't need Photoshop you don't need any expensive programs or anything like that so that's why I really am good friends with Canva so they have all these like pre-made templates and everything that make it just super easy to customize so if you come up here and you click in this search box you could say like all right I'm looking to design a YouTube thumbnail so let's look what they have here okay suggested YouTube thumbnail. So they already know how big the YouTube thumbnail needs to be. They already have the pixels right there, 1280 by 720 pixels. So you don't even have to look that up or like try to figure out, oh, what size does my thumbnail need to be? Because sometimes when you upload the image onto YouTube and that it's too small and then you take like so long to try and figure out how to adjust it. Nope, they did that all for you. So you just click here. So you could choose like, for example, um, for this cover photo, let's just design this. Let's just design my cover photo for this YouTube thumbnail. By the way, when I say YouTube thumbnail, what I mean is the picture, when you go to click on a video and you see the picture and it has a photo and it might have some words over it or like a design, this is how people do that. So. And on YouTube, it's very important to have a nicely designed thumbnail because it will increase the chance that people are going to click on your video. So the design of the thumbnail is just as important as what's inside the video itself. So you want to create something catchy to the eye. You want it to be catchy, as I was saying, and you want it to look good. So let's use this thumbnail. We can um, delete. I'm just going to press the delete button on my keyboard after I selected this. So we could either leave it blank or we can put a photo here. 
So I'm gonna go to the left hand side of this toolbar and I'm gonna click Uploads. These are all the images from my photo library that I've used or uploaded to Canva to use for other designs. So as you could see, like one of my designs for my last TikTok video is here. Um, some of Felix's paintings are here that I've used for his thumbnails, tons of stuff like that. So we can go to your computer, you can click upload an image or video. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to use my old TikTok photo. So it will put it right here. And I'm going to cut this part out of it. I'm going to make it the size of this white space. So this is pretty sloppy, but this is just an example to show you guys how you can do stuff um, with Canva. So see how that design went behind my photo? I would go up here and I would click position and I would click forward and it will bring it on top of the photo. So um, here is a square. Let's say I want to scoot it over a bit. I want to make it bigger, so I'm going to pull the arrow and it already came with this text. So we can just delete this. Let's just delete this text. And let's go to the left-hand side of the bar over here where it says text, I'm gonna click it. And they also have templates for all these different types of fonts that we can use. So let's just say, You want to choose something that's definitely bold, something that people can read even when it's a small little thumbnail. So let's choose something like this. Love, peace, and joy from the Fitzgeralds. So um, these lines show if it's centered or not. So I want to make sure that these two lines that are crossed here, there, it's right in the middle. So I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to say the only tool you need to design your, maybe design catchy YouTube thumbnails. Okay, so we have put our title here and my title is a bit too large, so I'm gonna wanna make it smaller. So I'm gonna select everything here and if I go up here to this toolbar, I can further adjust the text so I can Right here, make it smaller. I'm gonna do, let's try 42. Okay, it's a bit too small, too big. Let's try 48. Okay, I like that. Now, I'm gonna delete this part from the Fitzgeralds. And I'm gonna center it. This little button here, I used to center it. So let's say I don't like this background. Let's pretend I don't like it. I just selected it and I pressed it, press delete. So now let's say that I wanna do a circle um, behind, this, behind this black text instead of just a plain white background. So let's find a shape. So I'm gonna go over here on the left hand side of the toolbar again and I'm gonna select elements. So elements. Here's some I recently used, and here's an arrow. This is where you search for like little objects like this squiggly thing and designs. So you can look at illustrations. Let's see what they have here. They have little roses. They have like a lot of cute stuff. And underneath there it says free. So that one is free, but there's also some designs that 
are like a dollar or something like that. They have a little dollar sign here. This image can be purchased for only one dollar. So I think that if you get a Canva premium membership, Canva Pro, then you can actually, you get a lot of these for free if you have a membership. But we are just using the basics. So let's say I want to use this little smiley face. Gonna add it here. And now I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna find my circle. So we're gonna go to shapes now. And I'm gonna select the circle. So it looks kind of dull and not that pretty. So I'm gonna make it prettier. I'm gonna do, so what I did was I clicked this little square up here while the circle is selected and you can adjust the color. So if I like one of these, so let's say I wanna do maybe pink, but I don't like that shade, then I'm going to go over to this plus button and it will allow you to adjust the color. So you can get a color in between colors or something like that. So maybe I'll try this purple. So I'm going to click enter. And there we go. Now I'm going to drag my circle over my words and cover them up. And then I'm going to click position again. And I'm going to click backwards this time. And then it's very like opaque, the background. So I want to make it a bit transparent. I feel like it's a little more catchy when it's transparent. Um, there's also options to link things. So if you click link, you can actually enter a link to your website if you're creating something that is clickable. Okay, so I'm gonna try and make the background transparent now. I am going to click this grid up here. It says transparency. You can select how light you want it to be. So you can make it very light, it's almost white, or you can do something in between. So maybe like something like this. Okay, you can even add videos. Um, there are all types of things that you can do with Canva. And once you're done, you go up to the upper right hand corner and you can click download. So you click download, you select the file type. PNG is more high quality. JPEG is a smaller image file. Sometimes if the file's too big, I've noticed that YouTube won't upload it. So occasionally I'll have to do JPEG, but both work, PNG and JPEG. So I'm just gonna do PNG for now. I'm gonna download it. And now it is saved to my computer. Click on it. Yay! So then I would go to my YouTube and I would click upload, upload a video. And let's just choose a random video here. Let's choose this video. And then when it says thumbnail here, you would click upload thumbnail. You would select our design and upload. So now there we have it. There's our thumbnail. So let's exit out of this. Okay, so that is designing a YouTube thumbnail and why I love Canva, one of the main reasons is because they have all these templates, they have these designs already for you and they make it super easy. Like you don't have to do like figure out the dimensions of a YouTube thumbnail and all this stuff. So let's see what other templates they have. Let's go back home. You can design your logo through here. 
We designed Felix's logo using Canva. Also, you can use these for like signing up for like word swag or one of those things on Instagram. Like you could do like an Instagram post and they have a template for that. They have pre-made ones that you could do on here that you can redesign yourself, change around the colors and the fonts and the photos. So like if you want to do like a quote picture, you could do something like this. It's so beautiful. So you could do something like this. And then on the left side here, you can see that they even give some other options that are maybe like similar to what you chose and you can pick which one suits what you're trying to say the most. You can adjust the photo. You can adjust the font as I showed you on the left side here. And then when you're done, you just click on the download button up here. So I hope that this could help you, give you a little run through of how to use Canva to design your own YouTube thumbnails and other Instagram and social media posts. And I hope to make more content that could be helpful to you. Thank you guys again so much for being here. I appreciate your great support and I look forward to being able to give you some more tips that you can put to practice into your own online business. This video is not sponsored. I'm not sponsored by Canva or anything like that. It's just a tool that I've really found helpful and it's free so I wanted to share with you guys and I look forward to creating more content that can help you guys. If you are enjoying this, if you have found any of this helpful, I would really appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up, if you click the subscribe button down below and hit the bell that will let you know whenever I post a new video and also let me know in the comments what else you would like to learn. I would be happy to take it into consideration for my future videos. So thanks guys and have a great day.